So I think uh, we all agree that uh, no one, you know, including myself, including yourself, like to be criticized, even if the criticism is warranted and necessary. Uh, the first thing we, uh, we felt that uh, when people criticize us is we feel anger inside ourselves. We feel unhappy and sometimes we feel sad. Actually, there are two kinds of criticism. One is constructive, the other one is destructive criticism. Uh, constructive criticism uh, makes us a better person uh, if we're willing to, uh, to listen and, and improve ourselves. The other one is uh, negative or destructive criticism that makes us less of a person uh, if, if we allow them to be. So let's deal with first with the positive criticism. Uh, although we don't like it when people criticize us, we have to ask ourselves, why do we get angry when people criticize us? We get angry because there is some truth in the criticism. For example, if you criticize me and uh, there is no truth in it, uh, like for example, when you criticize me, I say, why you look so uh, ugly because you look so young? I will not get angry because there is no truth in it. But when you said you are ugly because you look old, uh, that I will start to get angry about that. So pay attention to the truth behind what makes you angry and if you can do that then you can start to improve ourselves. Yeah, yourself. But most of the discussion that we're going to talk today will be about the negative criticism. Uh, why people uh, give negative criticism? Because they don't feel good about the inside of themselves. Uh, when people criticize other people it indicates there's some uh, internal insecurity and uh, low self-image. In other words, they cannot see anything good inside themselves, and the only way they can feel good is by making other people unhappy. And if they can make other people sad, unhappy, and angry, now they feel good. They, they got what they want. And so they will continue to do this uh, if you allow them to be. Let's talk about how we deal with this, how we deal with uh, uh, people that tend to criticize us a lot. If somebody criticizes us once or twice, let's forget about that. It's not worth dealing with it. But if this person continues to come back again and again and again, we have to stop them. Because if we don't stop them, it can make ourselves uh, unhappy, uh, number one. Number two, it can make us lose our self-respect because we start to believe them. Uh, so we, we tend to lower our self-image. Uh, so don't let anybody lower our self-image, not our parents, not our teachers, not our friends. We have to respect our parents, of course, we have to respect our teachers, uh, but don't let them make us feel bad about ourselves. When these people that like to criticize us come back to us again and again, here's the strategy. The one strategy is you look them straight in the eyes without mocking them, without being angry, without sad, and all you just said say, oh, thank you. And then go continue doing whatever you're doing. And for most, uh, for most people, this will work the first time, you know. Why? Because they don't get what they want. They don't make you angry, they don't make you sad. But there are people who habitually criticizing other people. These are the expert criticizer. When you say thanks, they stop for a while and then we'll come back again and they will come back again. Now we have to develop a different strategy. So next time these people come to you and start criticizing again, you said, oh, thank you very much. You know, uh, last time you uh, advised me, don't say last time you criticized me, last time you advised me, uh, it helped me so much. Please, can you repeat that again? I would like to take note, right? I guarantee that probably the last time you will see them. They will go away and criticize other people, but not you. Because again, their strategy to, to make them happy doesn't work. The third uh, strategy is what I learned from my, own, my old professor when I was in university. Sometime, you know, uh, in, in, in university, especially in the Western country, there are students who love to show them how good they are by criticizing the professor, by showing them that I know more than you do, by showing that you are wrong and I am right. And so uh, the strategy my professor used to do is when this happened, he would listen carefully, not his head, you know, and then think thoughtfully and he said, hmm, that's interesting. And then he continued with his lecture. And this student who tried to criticize him didn't know what to do. What does it mean it's interesting? 
he doesn't agree, doesn't agree. But if you do that uh, to people, every time they criticize you, you say, ah, that's interesting. I bet you they will not come back to you again. But there is one, the mother of all strategy for stopping people to criticize you. This is so powerful, I don't want you to use it, actually. I don't want you to use it because it hurts. And the reason why they don't come back to you because it hurts so much. Here it is. Next time these people come to you and start to criticize you, you look at them in the eyes, you don't smile, you don't laugh, you said, I don't care. And then you just go back and continue to do what you're doing. And this is so hurt, why? Because when, when somebody tell us that they don't care about us, it means they don't recognize us. We need to be recognized. We want people to see us for what we are. So if somebody said, I don't care, that's devastating. And I can guarantee they will never come back to you again. And like I said, this is so painful. Uh, please don't use it until, unless it's totally necessary. So, so far we've been talking about uh, people, how to deal with people who criticize us. How about when it is our habit to criticize other people? We have to understand why we criticize. Like we said, we criticize other people because we are not successful person, because we have a low self-image. Uh, and that's why we want to criticize other people. We're not happy inside. So the solution for this is not to criticize other people by doing the several things. Try to be more successful than when we are, because successful people don't criticize uh, other people. Uh, successful people, like successful students in school, do not bully other people. Criticize, criticizing people is just emotional bullying. Right? That's why when it works, you do it again. And so, how can we make ourselves successful? By deciding that we want to be successful by creating goal. Because when we have goal, uh, we feel good about ourselves, we see the situation differently when we set goal. And then set goal what you want to be, say for example, five years from now. And when we were clear about goal, then we set principle. What we must do, we must not do to achieve that goal. And one of the principles must be that we must not make other people feel bad to make our, ourselves feel good. So just remember that nobody ever built statue for critics. They only build statue for people who have achieved something great in their life. Thank you very much. <laughs>